things to be remember nice persons to be remember wishing and amazing not to all train your mind as hard as you are training your body always remember your focus determines your reality we play together win together i think sports bring us together webinar or uh, webisode a powerful leading digital tool it's my pleasure to welcome you all for this webinar on be fit a holistic approach to fight covid 19 organized by department of physical education idea college for women kumbakonam this day brings you shower of radiant light to lift your spirits and brings you joy the lord says for i know the plans i have for you plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and future believing he will do what we want so now at this time we have to be have a great faith in god all of us should follow basic productive measures against covid 19 the key to growth is the introduction of higher dimension i would like to share about a few dimensions of our institution it is called government kumbakonam was established in the jubilee year 2000 run by franciscan sisters of immaculate heart of mary congregation pondicherry affiliated to bharathas university tiruchirappalli our college is recognized by 2f 12b of ugc act it has a good number of students about 3250 pursuing 10 undergraduate 8 post graduate 8 research program and one doctoral program in tamil respectively the college aims at training the young women strive to shine wonderfully and excel as a perfect model of womanhood next i would like to share about physical education department in our college sports are integral as well as a necessary part of our curriculum we probably inform that nearly 150 students in 10 sports item apart from academic we give the most important to our students fitness we have an eminent national university playoff our achievement is the greatest participants kindly remember mute the audio and the video during the session however that would be a question and answer towards the end you can post your question through chat box the feedback link will be shared at chat box after the session is over next i would like to call upon mrs nirmala martin director of physical education and staff secretary to give welcome address A healthy outside starts from the inside. It's my pleasure to welcome you all for this webinar. God does not fix the situation; He is using the situation to fix you. Yes, of course, God determines the day. We believe God will make a way to be returned everything normal as quick as possible. Let me begin the webinar. by getting blessings from the almighty a truly amazing principle is hard to find leadership is about vision and responsibility not power integrity is the most valuable and respected quality of leadership it's my great honor to welcome our integral principal reverend sister dr yuji namala i welcome you sister i would like to extend a special welcome to our college secretary reverend mother gladin orike mary our administrator reverend sister antoni amal and vice principal reverend sister vimali mary hearty welcome sisters great personality never hide their originality 
because their originality is only their identity some people want it to happen some wish it would happen others may it happen these words are suitable for our chief guest dr george abraham principal oymc college of physical education chennai he has excelled in academic and extracurricular activities he has 20 years experience in teaching and research he is interested in physiology prevent life disease etc he published five books 200 articles in national and international level he visited more than 45 universities he produced 25 mphil and 8 phd scholars he secured 14 gold medal and silver medal received so many awards he received a title of fastest man of india we are proud to welcome you sir i extend a cordial hod is faculties of idaya college for women and other participants once again i welcome you all shall i start thank you ma'am for your earnest welcome address i request our principal reverend sister dr ut namala to address the viewers good day to all good health is not something we can buy however it can be an extremely valuable savings account joseph pilot says physical fitness is the first requisite of happiness i am delighted to invite you all to take part in this webinar on be fit a holistic approach to fight against covid-19 by the unit of physical education idaya college for women kumbakonam and also to make the webinar a grand success i am particularly happy to be present in this unique event today and to exchange views and share experience with other high level professors colleagues and friends representing many well known universities and research institutes together with the members of relevant international organizations i am sincerely hope that this conference will deliberate the dis and discuss all the different facets of this exciting topic and come up with recommendations which will lead to a better healthier and merrier world life is a constant wheel of fortune carve out time each day to dedicate to meditation living in the moment is one of the most important values of a holistic lifestyle living a holistic lifestyle is a lot healthier than most styles of living your body is a temple and you should always take care of it i wish the organizing committee for their consistent effort and also the personified resource person for his availability as well as the resources to this webinar and may this webinar reach its goals to ensure good health during this quarantine let be eat healthy breathe deeply live moderately cultivate cheerfulness and maintain and in rest in life good day to all and have a blessed time thank you thank you sister now the session will be carried with sparkling and powerful words over to the resource person hello sir am i audible yes sir yes sir the visible powerpoint is visible yes sir okay thank you okay thank you sir good evening to everybody i am extremely happy be with you this wonderful evening to share something from my mind regarding the holistic approach to fight against covid-19 i thank the management authorities the principal especially the physical education director of 
Ibaya College for Women, Kumbagonan Tamil Nadu, for given this opportunity to share my views regarding uh, fitness and COVID-19 to the public. Yeah, thank you. We know very well about COVID-19. Everybody is little bit worried about COVID-19. We had many lockdown, many phases of lockdown. Even though some states, some cities only holding lockdown. We have no other option in the present situation, we have to live with COVID-19. No other option we have. Since we couldn't find out any vaccine or medicine for this uh, pandemic, this disease like COVID-19, at any cost, we have to survive. We cannot work behind the medicine. We have to prevent the disease. Why in this present situation? We have to cope with this situation. We have to overcome this situation. Many questions are there in front of us. We don't know what to do. We don't know how to overcome this situation. We are worried about our future. They are a little bit scared, not a little bit, they are a little bit scared about COVID-19, coronavirus. We don't know how to tackle this situation. But one thing is very clear, we have to survive, we have to live. We have to live with COVID-19. Since we couldn't find out vaccine, we don't have any other option in front of us. Then next question, how we can survive with COVID-19? How we can live with COVID-19? That means we have to prevent COVID-19. How we can prevent COVID-19? Anyhow, we don't have any medicine. We don't have any, uh, uh, any, any, any vaccine to cure this disease. Many methods are there. As far as our topic is concerned, I would like to discuss with you regarding how we can prevent, how we can face, how we can approach COVID-19 in a holistic way. That is what I'm going to discuss with you next 45 minutes. Our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji said, integrated and holistic approach has helped India to handle the present situation properly. The PM added, India's fight against COVID-19 is going on very strongly and people have saved the country while facing difficulties. She lauded the patience and discipline of citizens in making lockdown successfully. Anyhow, we completed lockdown very successfully. He added one more sentence, one more word. Holistic and integrated approach and timely decisions have put the country in a much better position compared to most of the developed countries like USA and UK in terms of the number of people infected. Not only our Prime Minister, Irish Minister Sri Sri Prasad Naik also explained very clearly. He has expressed confidence that COVID-19 can be treated with Ayurveda, adding that in the absence of Scientific validation, the ancient Indian medical stream has only been used 
as a preventive measures during the current crisis like COVID-19. He said that coronavirus takes, I mean, attacks the immune system. We all know that one. If you boost the immunity system, then the virus cannot attack you. It also affects your respiratory system. We have a solution to improve respiratory system. Strictly speaking, the coronavirus does not attack the immune system, but attack the respiratory system. However, most of the damage in COVID-19 disease is caused by the immune system, which unleashes the massive defense to stop the COVID-19 virus from spreading. This leads to shortens of breath, dry cough, and other complications, leading to, in some cases of death. We have lost many people's life because of COVID-19. Not only in Tamil Nadu, not only in India, entire world. The Aish Mission order, there is 60 to 70 percent control of spread of COVID-19 in India due to home uh, remedies prescribed by alternative medicines like uh, Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani, etc. I mean, um, acupuncture, etc. The, see, not only that uh, Ayush Minister, the Ayush Center of Excellence located at Pune University. The Center of Complementary and Integrative Health at the Pune University and the experts from multiple institutions make uh, a case for the potential role of Ayurveda medicine and yoga as supportive measures in self-care and treatment uh, for COVID-19. We cannot say treatment, but we can, we, can, we can make it as a word. We can use a word treatment since we are living with COVID-19. Then how we can use our herbs or traditional herbs to prevent COVID-19. In next slide. See, my dear friends, in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic, there have been a lot of interest in way to strengthen one's immune system and thus build a first line of defense against the deadly virus, COVID-19. According to the World Health Organization, around 80% of, we can read this, 80% of world's population uses health medicine for primary health care. Particularly in Southeast Asia in India, we are using our natural helps to improve our immune system. The research studies also indicated that many of these herbs not only have anti-inflammatory properties, they also help build up the body's natural immunity. I, I mentioned some names over here. Then, then you can understand very easily. That is easily available in the present situation in our house or nearby house around our house or the local market. First one is holy basil. I would like to say something. Since we don't have any vaccine or medicine COVID-19, we have no other option. We have to approach COVID-19 in a holistic way. As far as our Prime Minister as well as our Irish Ministry is concerned, it's the best method to prevent COVID-19. We can, we can, we can approach different way. In the holistic way, we can uh, divide into different aspects. One, our natural herbs. Then an alternative medicine. The next one, physical activity. This is a holistic way. Throughout physical health. To natural 
herbs and spices then if need we can use our alternative medicine we can try with alternative that is all we cannot say 100% successful this is what the holistic way first one holy basil everybody know this one the leaves of this easily available plant and rich in um, then uh, phytonutrient such as antioxidants then flavonol chlorophyll vitamin and minerals as well as eugenol a bioactive component that has anti microbial anti fungal anti bacterial properties and reduce stress and plasma glucose level so this is easily available holy basil that we can use every day then ginger we all know it is well known for its anti inflammatory anti fungal and anti cancer properties in traditional medicine ginger has been extensively used for uh, uh, carrying cold and cough nausea asthma travel sickness morning sickness some type of arthritis gastrointestinal complaints and even depression so ginger with warm water is very good to prevent our throat as well as our respiratory system and digestive system also through that it's a very good medicine to provide then as we all know fenugreek that's also easily available in our local market uh, local market is a uh, is a well known herbs uh, in the ayurveda system of medicine which acts a natural antioxidant and strengthens immune system it is not only used as an herb to spices vegetables but also as a uh, that condiment uh, in artificial flavoring of uh, maple syrup uh, or in the production of uh, steroids uh, the fenugreek is also very good for that then garlic it has potent antioxidant properties and helps in reducing stress and high blood pressure am i audible hello yes sir yeah 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 thank you thank you, thank you. i got a little bit disturbance <laughs> let's see okay thank you then uh, yeah uh, garlic as we are or no this is a, this has a potent antioxidant properties and it helps in reducing stress and blood pressure also Uh, it, it also helps to enhance thiamine, that vitamin B1 absorption in the body and prevents uh, and uh, beriberi. Sometimes we can prevent beriberi through this garlic. Then uh, turmeric, it's a very good medicine. Everybody knows that is our traditional medicine. Turmeric. Actually, turmeric contains a bioactive component known as curcumin. which acts as an anti inflammatory agent it is commonly used in india for curries and other dishes it can also be consumed as a, a decoction it means uh, that kashayam or kada in in north indian people use kada uh, made from uh, uh, greater uh, ginger uh, then we can mix with tulasi and turmeric once daily to improve immune uh, as recommended by ayush ministry so this decoction is very good with uh, uh, the uh, grated ginger tulasi and turmeric the together with the uh, one uh, decoction is very good to improve our immunity our ayush ministry also recommended like this and then vitamin c see the particular vitamin is a, a crucial participant uh, in the army of uh, immunity usually people are using to help prevent the common cold it acts as a powerful antioxidant uh, and uh, protects against damage induced by uh, oxidative stress 
same as the vitamin D. Vitamin D supplements have a mild protective effect against respiratory tract infections. Then zinc. Zinc is a viral component, uh, the, the white blood corpuscles, which fights infections. Zinc deficiency often makes uh, one more uh, susceptible to, to flu, like this COVID-19, cold and other viral infections. So uh, these are the very important natural uh, helps, we can say. Then one more thing, uh, sorry, for elderberry. Elderberry, elderberry are full of nutrients, including minerals like uh, phosphorus, potassium, iron, copper, and uh, vitamins, such as vitamin A, B, and C, proteins and dietary fiber. Elderberries have uh, antibacterial and antiviral qualities which help fight COVID, uh, cold something, COVID-19, uh, sometimes uh, cold and influenza through that we can prevent COVID-19. So these are the uh, natural herbs and uh, spices we can use. Since we don't have any vaccine, we can use to prevent. That is what we are using right now, I hope. Okay, in different ways to prevent COVID-19. Next one. Uh, yeah, the Ministry of uh, Ayush uh, recommended, recommended like this way. The uh, Ayush Ministry has recommended the following self-care guidelines as preventive measures uh, and boost our immunity with special references to respiratory health. Since it is affecting directly to our throat and respiratory system, we have to care for our throat especially and respiratory system. Then, this is what the recommendation by Ayush Ministry of India. First one, drink warm water throughout a day. Three or four times, or five times. Then practice meditation. Yoga asana, pranayama, asana samkayamas. This is how we can approach. This is a holistic way. Increase the intake of uh, yeah, turmeric, uh, cumin, coriander, and garlic. That is also easily available. It's a low cost items. If possible, drink herbal tea, cinnamon, black pepper, dry ginger, and raisin. Then avoid sugar and replace it with jaggery if needed. If in an emergency, you can use jaggery. Better to avoid sugar. Then apply ghee, season oil, or coconut oil in both the nostril to keep the, the nostril clean. Neti, you can use neti. You can use this one from the yoga activity. Then inhale steam with mint leaves and caraway seeds. This is very, this is compulsory, you have to do it. Twice a day or thrice a day. Inhale steam water. The mint leaves or any other, or caraway seeds. It's good. This is what recommended by our Aish ministry. Then, uh, before that, see how we can prevent COVID-19 through our immunity. How we can improve immunity? That is what we can discuss. What is immunity? How we can discuss in the coming slide. Immunity, uh, 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 see, uh, actually, in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic, there have been a lot of interest in way to strengthen one's immune system. And thus build a first line of defense. I told you a little bit earlier, this is the first line to defense against the deadly virus COVID-19. Immunity is the definition of immunity, as we all know. The ability of an organism to resist a particular infection or toxin by the action of specific antibodies or sensitized with, with blood, uh, white blood cells. That means a condition of being able to resist a particular disease, especially through preventing development of a uh, pathogenic microorganism or by contracting the effect of its products. 
and how we can uh, boost our immune system, how we can improve our immunity against this COVID-19 virus. That is what we can discuss. First one, improve your diet. Since you are staying at home, since you are not doing any other activities, that much of activities, you have to take care of your health. First one is, if you want to improve immunity, your diet play a vital role. So the food you eat play a key aspects in determining your overall health and immunity. You can also eat supplements rich in omega-3, omega-6, fatty acid for your daily routine or daily dose of your food. Then second thing, as we all know, don't compromise on sleep. I think you are getting good sleep since you are sitting with them and staying with your family members since you sit sitting in your house. I don't know, some people, when they call me around after uh, uh, the third phase of lockdown during last month, they started getting some stress because of many reasons. They told me they are not getting proper sleep because of stress. They are worried about their children, future. They are worried about money. Those who are working in private sector or contract-based people or daily wages people, they're worried about their the money since they are not getting any job. They are not working anywhere. Because many reasons, many reasons they're getting stress. One thing I could say, my dear friends, sleep time seven to eight hours is the best way to help your body build immunity. Lesser sleep will leave you tired and impair your brain activity. The lack of sleep will prevent the body from rusting and this will impair your bodily functions that will have a direct impact on your immunity. So don't compromise on sleep. Third one. Uh, I forgot to mention here. Yeah, uh, stay hydrated. That means that's also very important. See, uh, as far as uh, those who are not, uh, uh, which area is not getting mansoor, the other parts of India uh, is a little bit uh, hot climate. So drink up to 8 to 10 or 12 glasses of water every day to stay hydrated. Hydration will help flush out the toxins from our body and lower the chances of flu like COVID-19. Other alternatives include a juice made of citrus food like uh, lime juice, lime, coconut water, to beat the heat. So you can have. The next one is don't skip exercise. This is one of the holistic approach to prevent COVID-19. Don't skip on exercise. A good diet should be followed by an exercise routine. Remember to exercise regularly, even light, even light exercise, will go a long way in releasing the toxins from your body. It is recommended to exercise for 30 to 45 minutes, depending on your stamina, your physical capacity, and your age. If you have not started exercise yet, then it is a good time to start. Tomorrow onwards, we can start exercise. We don't, have, we don't have any other option to improve our immunity. You have to do it. There are several YouTube channels are there, an application there. You can download uh, uh, applications and dance, different types of dances, and we can start exercise at home. Since uh, public uh, uh, the stadiums and uh, other grounds are uh, not permitting us to do activity, you can start, you can do this activity at home. No issue. The regular exercise improves metabolism, which has a direct correlation with body's immunity. 
Okay, then distress yourself. That means keep away from negative stress. As I told you, know, many reasons are there. The chronic stress or over stress will affect our body adversely. That will uh, reduce our immunity. So the growing anxiety around the pandemic is another concern that is affecting millions across the globe. Then after that, it will convert as a depression and sadness. So because of depression only, many, many people are committing suicide. Very sad news I heard last month, then to last week also. But many people uh, committed suicide because of overstress, because of they don't know how to live. They, don't, they are worried about tomorrows. They don't have sufficient money in their hand. The local government as well as state or national government is not taking care. That's why more many other reasons also there. The main reason is depression. They don't know how to overcome this depression. They don't know how to tackle with the situation. Depression. They're committing easy. Simply they are going to commit suicide. See? The, while the uncertainty might be overwhelming. Uh, there are a few steps we can follow regularly to help uh, resolve our stress. Uh, that stress is known to have an adverse effect of our immunity. Then, uh, practice uh, meditation notes. This is good. Prayer. Too much of stress uh, release the hormone known as cortisol, as we all know. Usually cortisol is known as stress hormone which impels our response to immediate surroundings and make our body susceptible to infections. You are left feeling uh, constantly anxious. The best way to release stress is through meditation or prayer. It's a tried and tested activity to calm the nerves so we can improve our immunity. We relax our mind. We relax our body. It's one of the holistic way. Then avoid smoking, alcohol, and other addictive substances. My dear friends, certain habits like smoking, whooping, alcohol consumption, and substances abuse have a direct correlation between weakened body defenses and respiratory illness. So, please avoid, please avoid, especially tobacco smoking during this. Otherwise, it will directly affect our uh, uh, that um, respiratory system. Then we will get easily get COVID-19, any other type of diseases. So better to avoid. Alcohol also. So unfortunately, some state governments started allowing to open liquid shops since they are getting a good revenue through this alcohol business but my request to stop to close all the alcohol shop then only we can prevent covid 19 successfully see traveling as we all know about all kinds of non-essential travel most covid 19 positive cases are imported cases which is later spread to the communities. Avoid being exposed to the public transport system and public places to avoid any likelihood of exposure. In uh, Tamil Nadu government, as well as some other government also started uh, public transport system. No issue for that. But we have to keep uh, that social distancing. We have to cover our uh, nose and mouth with uh, tissues or uh, mask. Then we have to dispose that one immediately after using. Then, uh, I told you, you know, apart from that spices and herbs, then some uh, type of uh, ordinary medicine, physical activity is the best way to prevent COVID-19. We can say it's the best holistic way. Once uh, Swami Vivekananda said, around 100 years back, a century back, you are nearer to heaven through football 
than through the study of Bhagavad Gita. I repeat, you are nearer to heaven through football than through the study of Bhagavad Gita. That means, if you want to go to heaven, if you want to reach heaven, your body should be fit. Your mind should be happy. Without fitness body, without happy mind, you cannot reach heaven. He has given that much of importance to physical activity century years back. I mean, 100 years back, century back. So, physical activity is very important. Through physical activity, we can improve many things. We can improve our circulation. We can improve the functions of internal organs. We can be happy. We can improve our emotional qualities. So, then we can discuss about that too also. Yeah, see, a physical activity. The COVID-19 pandemic is an unprecedented time all across the world, as we all know. Worldwide, excessive social distancing policies are put into place, restricting people's daily activities and worldwide. We are from governments asking people to stay safe and um, in a stay at home. So we cannot use any public places for any physical activity. Although these uh, social distancing measures are important and needed in a time such as now, our bodies and minds still need physical activity and the many benefit thereof. See, wait, wait, let, let us check. Uh, see, how does physical activity affect our immune system? Because without proper immunity, we cannot prevent COVID-19. And how we can improve immunity, as I told you earlier, or helps natural way, traditional way, or through alternative medicine, we can prevent. This is another method. That immune systems are uh, uh, critical to fight uh, infection. Uh, during an infection, our immune system finds a virus and attacks it. When we are physically active, working muscles produce components that help boost our immune system and make us less susceptible to infection. That means, what are the importance of physical activity during this COVID-19 pandemic period? Then discuss, we can discuss. In light of the current situation worldwide, Certain benefits of physical activity may be specifically pertinent to the COVID-19 pandemic. Physical activity enhances immune function and reduce inflammation. It could therefore reduce the severity of infection. Physical activity is a great stress management tool through reducing symptoms of anxiety and depression, as we discussed a little bit earlier. Physical activity is a great stress management tool through reducing symptoms of anxiety and depression. Physical activity helps bring cortisol level in balance, as I told you earlier. If you're getting that much of stress, we will uh, increase the, uh, the secretion of cortisol. The stress and distress such as during this pandemic period, a creative, that creates an imbalance in cortisol level and this negatively influences immune function and inflammation. So physical activity helps bring cortisol level in balance. Stress and distress, we can reduce it. Where the health organization also insists 30 minutes of physical exercise or activities for adults and one hour physical activities for children to prevent COVID-19. Recently only the WHO uh, General Secretary Hebraces announced this thing. Everybody should do 
30 minutes physical activity. We can use any, any type of activity. We can, we can have any type of activity. We can use our uh, indoor, inside house or nearby the house. I mean, house permits also we can use. Those are above 25 years. You can have 30 minutes of physical activity. Less than 20, one hour physical activity. Then why we, how we can improve immunity? Through fitness. What type of fitness that we can discuss? That is fitness. Fitness. Okay. As we all know, fitness is an act of healthy living. Living a healthy lifestyle involves activities that are beneficial to health. Actually, fitness is the ability to meet the demands of a task. According to the uh, Center uh, for Disease and Control Prevention is concerned, Fitness is defined as the ability to carry out daily tasks with vigor and alertness, without anti fatigue, and with ample energy to enjoy leisure time pursuit and respond to emergencies like this COVID 19 pandemic. Fitness is concerned not only physical fitness. How we can have fitness, not only physical fitness, let me discuss. Let us discuss this matter. Apart from physical fitness, physiological fitness, mental fitness, emotional fitness, social fitness, and spiritual fitness. The total fitness is needed to improve our immunity. Then when we discuss, we can discuss one by one. What is physical fitness? As we all know, especially physical education fraternity knows very well. Not only physical education fraternity. Everybody is not, now, right now, everybody, everybody is discussing about physical fitness. Not only physical education fraternity. Common people also are discussing about physical fitness. How we can improve immunity? What are the physical activity we have to do? Majority people don't know how to start physical activity. Where to start? When to start? I don't know. So this, I would like to say something about the fitness of different aspects. Physical fitness is the ability to carry out a task without undue fat. I we, we all know. Actually, physical fitness is generally achieved through proper nutrition, moderate vigorous, I mean, uh, or uh, vigorous physical activity, physical exercise, and sufficient rest. Three things are very important. You have uh, any disease, I mean, disease sense of physical problems, uh, lifestyle diseases. Don't start with moderate or vigorous. You can start with low phase, low intensity. Then, as I said told you earlier, nutritional food. Notice for the sense of we can have all the type of vegetables. Vegetables more than enough. Different types of vegetables. Leaf vegetables, the nuts especially cashew, groundnuts, we can have. Then cereals, beans, grams, we have to have all the type of that food, nutritional food. Then we can improve our immunity. Then not only nutrition, some activities, exercise, and sufficient rest in between. If you are a beginner, don't start with vigorous or strenuous exercise. You can start with slow walking, then we can change to brisk walking. Then you can start jogging. So slowly, slowly, you can Im improve or uh, increase the intensity of your activities. Then these are the components of physical uh, fitness. As we all know, that's why we're not going to enter that area. Cardiorespiratory endurance, uh, muscular endurance, then muscle strength, uh, uh, then flexibility, balance, speed. Body composition, these are the uh, components of physical fitness, as we all know. I'm not going to enter that one. 
then we, when we discuss what are the what are the benefits of physical fitness benefits of physical fitness during this pandemic period how we can fight against this covid 19 without medicine without vaccine physical activities physical fitness to reduce your muscle strain improve your muscle activities you can reduce your weight body weight improve bone and muscle strength improve body balance especially aged people above 70 above 80 especially that improve flexibility you can improve stretchability i mean improve stretchability then you can reduce the spasm muscle spasm as well as some type of arthritis joint arthritis you can reduce through proper flexibility improve fitness total fitness then build a maintain muscle mass increase oxidative capacity then improve body composition this help to maintain a healthy weight over a time so these are the benefits of physical activities i'm not going to enter deeply since we don't have sufficient time see these are the way these are the benefits of physical activity then when we discuss of physiological fitness how you can have physiological fitness that is very important to prevent covid 19 to fight against covid 19 physiological fitness can be defined as fitness relating to the physical aspects of the human body other than psychological and emotional fitness assessment physiological fitness assessment involved testing to cardiovascular uh, fitness muscle strength the flexibility so and so so and so uh, see in other words physiological fitness is concerned with how efficiency and uh, how efficiently the various systems of the body needed for exercise like uh, cardio respiratory fitness muscular fitness uh, cardiovascular health etc working together to support the various activities performed by a person then when we discuss about the benefits of physical physiological fitness that is also very important for us improve blood circulation improve our immunity improve blood lipid profile improves vascular function improve immune function reduce the risk of heart disease reduce the risk of diabetes reduce the risk of stroke reduce the risk of certain cancers certain two type especially two type of cancers breast cancer as well as colon cancer they 100% we can we can uh, we can uh, we can avoid we can prevent through proper physical activities improve blood pressure that means we can normalize our blood pressure then strengthening and maintaining our immune system then reduce, uh, as i told you know a little bit earlier these are the benefits of physiological fitness through because of physical activities then when you discuss about mental fitness that is what is very important during this covid lockdown period since we are staying with our family members we are getting stress we don't know how to calm our mind and to make calm our mind see mental fitness once we lose our mental fitness definitely we will lose our immunity the virus will affect easily so this is a definition of mental fitness mental fitness is your ability to cope with and meet the psychological demands of life without undue fatigue or damage to your mind or body it is a it is a personal framework for understanding what we can do as individuals to build a happier and more productive life that's a different area that i'm not going to enter since you are staying at home we can make use our time to different work through that we can uh, we can calm our mindset we can calm our mind tension must be tension see men is a mental fitness is also defined as a state of well being and having a positive sense of how we feel think and act that means we watch our thoughts it becomes our words we watch our words it becomes our actions we watch our actions it becomes our habits habits will change as a character so 
we have to concentrate our own work so that we can reduce our mental tension. Mental fitness is important to maintain your brain and your body healthy, especially as you age. Then, these are the main pillars of mental health. Emotional, social, financial, and physical. Mental and physical fitness and health are intertwined. This, then, what are the benefits of, I'm not going to enter deeply, one by one. Uh, see, benefits of mental fitness. Improve mental health, relieve mental tension. Ultimately, now, visualization can boost your emotional well-being and calm you down mentally. No doubt. You will clear that one when we discuss uh, about emotional fitness. See, when we, next one, you will get a clear picture about your mental fitness. Emotional fitness is also very important. Emotional fitness is defined as a state wherein the mind is capable of staying away from negative thoughts and can focus on creative and constructive tasks. Being emotionally fit is the key to success in all aspects of life. As I told you earlier, lack of emotional quality only people are committing suicide. Actually, emotional fitness is the idea that the mind needs regular exercise and training just as, as much as the body if you want to stay mentally and emotionally strong and healthy. That means negative emotions such as anger, anxiety, sadness, and distress can prevent success and drain the energy needed be provided in your daily routine and activities. So, emotional fitness is very, very important. Emotional qualities. If you don't have emotional quality, you cannot, can, cannot control your mind. So you have to improve emotional qualities such as emotional ability, emotional intelligence, emotional uh, balance and emotional agility once you improve your emotional uh, qualities you'll be capable to face any situation how you can improve emotional quality no doubt no doubt physical activity activity physical exercise will help you blood circulation will help you to reduce this, all this uh, tension and sadness and depression then, how we can improve, how we can build emotional fitness? There is self-awareness. You have to love yourself first. Then you can improve your self-awareness. Awareness. You should know who are you. Take responsibility. Since we are staying at home, we can take some responsibility. We can start cooking. Not only that ladies, gents also start cooking. They can help ladies. They can make clean their house inside. They can carry some, like, that's the way. We should engage. We should have some responsibility. We can give some responsibility to our children also, apart from their education, during this pandemic period. Then contemplate your choices, your choice. Practice makes perfect, as we all know. Be patient. Not patient, patience. Strongly written all day. Pa uh, patience means, see, that is what we are lacking. Since we are staying at home, we cannot control our mind. So patience is very important during the lockdown. Without patience, we cannot survive. Since we are away from our friends or relatives, from I mean uh, our colleagues or personal friends, we have to be patient. Be an optimistic uh, realist. No doubt. Otherwise, we cannot overcome this situation. The COVID-19 will affect us. Then, when we, what are the benefits of emotional fit? As I told you, reduce the risk of depression, reduce the risk of cognitive decline, delays the onset of dementia, improves overall feeling of well-being, then compassion is a medicine to relax our mind. No doubt. 
during this COVID-19 period. Compassion is a medicine during COVID-19. Compassion is a medicine. That is what said by WHO recently. Compassion. You should love your children. You have to share your feelings to your children. Students or children also, you have to share your feelings to your parents and teachers through phone, through, can you use social medias or any other medias. So what is, that? another one also important. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, so uh, social fitness. That is also we can improve. Social fitness uh, actually involves a frequent social exercise. Just as people play any any game, any game, local game or a minor game, and uh, jog to stay physically fit. People join groups and communities, maintain close relationship, meet new people, cultivate friendship, and develop uh, intimacy with their partners to stay socially fit. But present the, the present situation, we, we cannot meet physically any person over anywhere. So we have to keep social distancing, not only social distancing, some other restrictions are there, implemented by local government, not only central and state, local government also uh, implemented some restrictions. Social uh, health involves our ability to form satisfying personal relationship with others. It also relates to your ability to adapt comfortably to different social situations and act appropriately in a variety of settings. So anyhow, we can contact our friends, our relatives, our colleagues through phone or any, you can use any other gadgets. Otherwise, uh, since we are a little bit away from that people, uh, we are getting sometimes, uh, we cannot share our emotion. That's why you can keep uh, some of the guards just to uh, uh, use with guard just to keep uh, the relations with your friends and relatives. Then, how we can get social fitness? That's what I didn't mention here, I think. Yeah, this is, this is the way. This is the way. Yeah, gather your friends and plan a day of fun and fitness at a local park. Local park in the sense of if you are local government is allow, you can use local park. Otherwise, don't use local park. You can use your house or house premises. The team sports, like I told you know, join a start a walking group. So if you are local government permits. You have to keep social distancing. Join a group of fitness classes. So online classes are there. Virtual classes we can attend. Like this. I'm talking to you now through that uh, different platform. A Zoom, Google Meet, or YouTube, or, or then Facebook. Different platform we can use. Consider small groups, uh, personal uh, training, something like that. They enjoy seasonal activities. Get out of town. That is not possible right now, but uh, you can use your own time. This is what spiritual fitness. We should have social content, my dear friends. IQ we can improve. With the finger to we can have everything through Google or through internet. We can improve IQ. EQ is also important. SQ is also very important to survive this situation. Survive in this in the present world. Then another one is also important. Spiritual fitness. Either you belong to any, any, any community or any religion, Christian, uh, Hindu, Islam, Parsi, Buddha, um, Sikh, or any religion, Jaina, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You have to start some spiritual activities. Then you can, you can, Keep your mind calm. You can reduce your stress, no doubt. That is what our Prime Minister, as well as Irish Minister, said very clearly. It's a holistic way. We have to approach to fight against COVID-19. Then physical fitness, we all know, uh, is a term used to capture a person's 
overall physical health and reflect how spirituality may help one cope with the enjoy life. The spirituality may be used generally uh, referred to what, to the, what, which gives meaning and purpose in life. That means spiritual life is achieved when you feel at peace with life. It is when you are able to uh, find hope and uh, comfort in even the hardest of time like COVID-19. Then uh, when we discuss how uh, do we achieve the spiritual fitness? Spiritual fitness? Since spiritual wellness involves one value, beliefs, and purpose, it can be achieved in several ways, both physically and mentally, as we all know. That's, an, that's why you're not going to enter deeply that area. First one, explore your spiritual core. You belongs to which you belongs to root religion, no issue. Explore your spiritual core. Whatever the religion is, look for deeper meaning. Then practice yoga. Fortunately, in 2015, UN accepted and announced International Yoga Day. That is very good. From my knowledge, around uh, 111 countries in the globe regularly. Asanas you can practice. Then uh, pranayama, the bandhas, kriyas, meditation you can practice. Yoga means skill in action. That means life is yoga. The present situation, we can prevent COVID physical activities. Then think positively. Always think positively. Always be positive thinking. Will help you help your uh, uh, help uh, uh, improve your immunity. Positive thinking, no doubt, will help you to improve your immunity. Take time to meditate or prayer. As I told you, no. I said earlier, these are very important, very important activities. To if, if you want to improve our total fitness, that is very important. And apart from that, total, as I told you, total fitness. Total fitness. These are the total fitness. Wellness is about more than just physical fitness. In addition to physical health, it is important that we continue to nourish our psychological, social, and spiritual goals. Otherwise, our life can get out of balance or control, and we cannot prevent COVID-19. So we can say total fitness and holistic approach to fight against COVID-19. Total fitness is the best way. Apart from three things are <clears throat> Where we discussed today. Three things are important to prevent COVID-19 or through our immunity. First one, our natural way, traditional herbs and spices. Second one, I mean alternative medicine can do something. Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani, then some other alternative medicines that uh, acupuncture also, some other, many medicine, type of alternative medicine, right? medicine. Third one is physical activity. Physical activity in the sense of not only physical activity, not only fitness, total fitness. Nutritional food is important. We have to have nutritional food. Do some physical activity. Sufficient rest in between. That means you should have, you should sleep at least seven to eight hours a day. All things are important to our immune system. These all are very important to our immune system. Without proper immunity, my dear friends, we cannot prevent COVID-19. We cannot overcome the situation. Already we have lost many lives. All, all over India as well as the world. Especially in Tamil Nadu. Since we are organizing one college located in Tamil Nadu. We have lost many people's lives. 
due to this COVID-19. So my dear friends, this is the right time to start your physical exercise. Without proper body, you cannot improve your fitness, total fitness. Without total fitness, you cannot improve immune system. You cannot improve your immunity. So that this is what very important for us. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We learned today COVID-19 and immunity, boosting our immune system against coronavirus. Social fitness, spiritual fitness, improve our diet, everything is nicely presented, sir. I think there is no queries or questions in chat box. Participants, if you have any queries, kindly post in chat box. One question, sir. Yeah, welcome. Is it possible that any person would be having allergic reaction from ginger, mint, etc.? If it's that, what would be the ways for prevention against COVID for that person? See, usually ginger is good for uh, all the category people. Because uh, ginger, I should told you know, is an anti-inflammatory, antibacterial uh, that uh, item. So, uh, if you have any uh, uh, been the, this one allergy uh, due to ginger, you can use turmeric. Other 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 alternative medicines. I mean, herbs are there. You can use that one. Lime, fenugreek. You can use other items. Nothing wrong. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And I think there is no chorus in chat box. Participant, kindly post your questions in chat box. Uh, they can send uh, queries to my mail also. No issue for that. I will respond properly. Okay, sir. Okay. My mail address is already clearly mentioned in the first slide as well as, well as the last slide. PROF. Short form of professor, PROF, George Abraham, my name, at gmail.com. PROF, George Abraham, at gmail.com. This is my mail ID. You can send your queries to my mail ID. I will respond properly. Thank you, sir. A traffic carries memories. Memories last forever. It's time to propose what of time. I would like to call upon Ms. Mary Postia. Assistant Professor of English to render what of time. Good evening, when you all gather here. I deem it a great honor to propose the vote of thanks to all who have helped us in making this webinar such a resounding success. I will give thanks to the Lord for he is good and his love endures forever. Yes, first I would like to thank the Almighty for his abundance of blessings to make this webinar in a great successful manner. Saying thank you is more than good manners. It is good spirituality. I extended a very artful gratitude towards our today's resource person, Dr. George Abraham, Principal, YMCA College of Physical Education, Chennai, for making this webinar interesting and meaningful. We are all inspired by your words, sir. Next, I would like to thank our beloved principal, Reverend Sister, Dr. Eugene Amala, for a tremendous support and providing encouragement at every point of time in the organizing of this event. Then, I also wish to express my gratitude towards our college secretary, our administrator, and vice principal. I'm also very grateful to Mrs. Nirmala Martin, ma'am, staff secretary, 
and director of physical education for our guiders and made the best arrangement for this webinar i would thank the organizing and technical team for making this webinar a great success finally i am grateful to all of the participants for your active participation and cordial cooperation once again thank you all thank you thank you sir